with Dundalk in an away strip of yellow and blue. Rovers in their traditional green and white hoops. Uh, hopefully you can see the display just based on the, the gates that, that were on uh, Glenmalore Park in Milltown. Good to see that uh, that flag has finally put the 1899 and 1901 debate to, to rest. If the flag says 1899, that's what it said in the gates, it's 1899, so there you go. We were going to Photoshop it. <laughs> <laughs> he was going, it's 1901. You can't put 1901. So, uh, going through the normal pre match kind of formalities. Photos being taken with the referee, the captains, and Hooper man and the uh, the mascots. So uh, looks like the captain for Dundalk tonight is uh, is uh, Chris Shields. He was uh, at Bray Wanderers last year. It was a bit of a bit of a torn in our side uh, when playing for Bray last year. Played in that midfield with uh, Gary Dempsey and uh, Danny O'Connor. Caused us many problems last year. And it's always impressed me every time I've seen uh, Chris Shields. So, uh, it's, as I said, it's a fairly inexperienced. There's not many names on that uh, Dundalk team sheet that uh, that jump out. So, you'd have to think that uh, Rovers will be the favourites here tonight. And as I said, but it's all about really how they bounce back off that 5-1 uh, defeat last week. And uh, it's going to be... Look at how the teams line up here. It's uh, it's got obviously Janssen and goal, uh, Sivas and Amand centre halves, Connor McCormick on the right, Connor Powell on the left. It's going to be uh, Turner, Finn, uh, McKay. Oh, sorry, uh, Dennehy on the sorry, it's Green on the right, uh, Dennehy on the left, and then uh, O'Neill and uh, Gary Twig up front. So it's straight four four two for Roberts tonight. And the referee blows his whistle, and we're off here now. Ball roll back to Conor McCormick, who looks for the run at Gary O'Neill. It's Derek Forlan who clears. I believe Derek Forlan is ex ex Bray Wanderers and Sligo Rovers, I do believe. Someone else that I actually recognise on the Dundalk team. Throws technically into Chris Turner, takes a little tip for and gets it out, and it's cleared down towards. Uh, it was cleared down towards Rafter who was fouled and it's going to be a free out for Dundalk halfway inside their own half halfway inside their own half even should I say yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> Dundalk look like they're lining up in a straight 4-4-2 as well or maybe a 4-3-3 the ball played down uh, Pell knocks it down to Billy Denny then he back to Pell Pell plays it out here to Billy Billy is gets a foot in there by um by Paul Walsh and goes out for Robert throw in taken by Pell to Turner and back to uh, Ken O'Man who gets it across here to Connor McCormick playing it right full tonight gets it out to uh, to McCabe so, sorry I said Aaron Green it's actually Aaron McCabe and uh, Bowles have gone one up against UCD as the throw is taken into McCabe McCabe Takes time and knocks it back here to uh, Sivez, who plays the ball across to Connor Pell. Connor Pell has, goes to Finn. Finn back to Sivez, who has a bit of space now. Is maybe going to look for Billy Dennehy. Over the head of McLaughlin. McLaughlin gets there, but it can only be knocked out for a Rowers throw in, which Connor Pell will take to Chris Turner. Chris Turner has a bit of time to get it back to Pell. Pell into Finn. Finn back to Turner, but that's a poor pass, and he's given it straight to uh, Gary Shanahan. Shanahan come away. Closed down by uh, Chris Turner, but pass support only finds Billy. Billy finds Chris Turner, who plays a beautiful crossfield ball to uh, Gary McCabe, and Conor McCormick got on the got on the uh, out, the overlap, but it was kind of played in behind Conor. But he gets it up to Gary O'Neill, who holds it up and gets it back in. Uh, Finn pushed on from midfield, but he's gone instead for Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill has Turner outside him if he needs him. Turner into the feet of Twig, who looks to get it back, but it's cut out by Paul Walsh, and it goes back to Peter Cherry. Cherry clears long. Uh, Connor Powell is beaten in the air, but Ken O'Man is in behind to cover, and plays it with his left foot down towards Gary O'Neill, but once again, 
cleared easily by Burns. It drops into uh, Rafter, who gets it away to um, McDonald on the far side. But forced back in here, and it comes out to uh, McLaughlin. McLaughlin to Walsh. Walsh with a bit of space, but Billy Denny tracking back, gets a foot in, and it'll be a throw in to, uh, to Dundalk, and it's going to be a uh, McLaughlin take it. I'm sorry for about the pause, but it's going to take me a while to get to find out who is on this Dundalk team as Chris Shields spins away and gets away down the right-hand side. Looks to get a ball in. Chris Turner's there under pressure. Just knocks it short for uh, Connor Pell. Connor Pell can clear long down towards Gary Twig. Beaten in the air by Burns. Flicked on by McLaughlin. Uh, but it drops there to Walsh. Walsh plays the ball over the top. It's covered by Craig Sives. And it's out for a Dundalk throw in. Parallel to the Rovers' 18-yard line, and it's going to be Ben McLaughlin to take it. A little flick inside, but only finds Chris Turner. Chris Turner dry, comes wide, goes short to Finn. Finn to Connor Pell. Pell will go long this time, looking for Gary Twig. It's over Gary's head, and uh, it's easily taken by Forland, who finds uh, Burns. Burns gets it down the line here for, Mc, for uh, McLaughlin. McLaughlin looks the ball over the top, and that's left. And uh, Conor McCormick in behind, taking no chances. Uh, Michael Rafter was it was a ball in. It was looked like a re kind of a nothing ball, but Rafter was hanging around, just waiting to pick up the scraps. So, but uh, Conor McCormick came in behind, cleared it out, and it's going to be uh, Dundalk corner, the first corner of the game here. And it's uh, Dan Cunningham coming up to take this. So, a bit of defending for Rovers to do from set piece here. Cunningham going to hit this with his left foot here from the right side. That's a decent ball in. It's got to the back post. There's no one there. It's looked to play back across the goal, but uh, I think it was Ken O'Man who was back there covering. It was a cleared everyone and it arrived at the back post. And uh, as the ball looked about back, played across, Ken O'Man put his body in the line and... Uh, Looks like he's suffering as a result of that. He's gone down and uh, the referee signaled that he's going to need some treatment here. Or is he he's going to get gingerly back up to his feet? And he looks all right, Kenneman. He'll get himself back into position. But, but some defender they were well cleared by Ronan Finn finds Gary Twig Gary Twig adds on to it but he can only clear it as far as Ben McLaughlin's going forward it's Gary O'Neill look at the pressure it goes back to Peter Cherry Cherry clears long but it'll go straight through to Oscar Janssen Oscar gets it out here to uh, Connor Pell Turner back to Connor Pell very tight on dock Robert's not really getting any space as Sivez finds Connor McCormick. Connor goes inside to Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn checks back inside and can get it here to Chris Turner. Chris can turn and gets it out here to Billy Dennehy. Um, it's Pell gone on the overlap. Uh, Dennehy elects to come inside to Finn. Finn under pressure. Has to go back here to Ken O'Man, who has Sivez outside him and gets it out to Craig quickly. Conor McCormick looking to go on the overlap, but he looks to play it into uh, looks to play it into Gary McKay, but Gary McKay hadn't read it and it was easily cut out. And uh, Sivas had to go in and make a heavy challenge to kind of cover up there, and he's given away the free kick. And uh, the referee is going to have a word with uh, with Craig Sivas here. It was a heavy challenge, but it was a it was a challenge that he kind of he forced himself to make. So it's going to be a free for Dock right on the halfway line here. And once again, it's going to be Dan Cunningham to take this. They haven't pushed the centre half forward, but it's going to be a long ball anyway. Looking for Chris Shields, but it's over everyone's head. Connor Powell leaves it. It makes its way to, to Paul Walsh. But he couldn't get his foot around it, and uh, it'll go out for a Rovers goal kick. So, no real chances uh, of now yet. No real pattern form into the game. As Oscar Janssen finds uh, Connor Powell out here. Connor looking for a movement up in front of him. Bit of late pressure down towards Gary O'Neill. It's easily won by uh, Liam Burns. 
but his header only goes out for a uh, Rovers throw in. Connor Pell takes it to uh, Ken O'Man. Ken O'Man, under a bit of pressure there by uh, Shanahan, goes back to Janssen, who goes to uh, Craig Sives. Sives to McCormick, back to Sives. And back here to, uh, to Ken O'Man. Rovers finding it hard, but that's a poor ball by Connor Pell, straight to Chris Shields. Shields comes out here to uh, to Walsh. Walsh looks for a diagonal ball, but only finds Craig Sives, who can feed it out here to McCormick. Then Rovers finding it hard to like really create that in here as McCormick looks to find Gary Twig. That's a much better ball, and Gary Twig can. Gary Twig was fouled on the second chance there. He nicked it away from the defender there, and uh, he was touched. And his second touch took it away from him, and it was the defender's ball. But the referee had seen a foul on Gary Twig, and he's pulled it back, maybe 40 yards out from goal. Billy Dennehy is one step in that. It's very central. It's going to be a very difficult. He's got a Conor McCormick outside him if he wants a quick one to make a better angle for the cross. No one's covered Conor McCormick. Conor McCormick's gone wide. If he looks, he's got Conor there. Uh, Craig Sivets drives forward. Yep. He looks like he's going to try maybe angle the ball, but the ball to Conor McCormick is a much better option. Sivets knocks it in there, but oh, Peter Charity was there to cover it. It was a good ball in there. Craig Sivets made his run late. A uh, little dink ball over the top by Billy. He, uh, Sivez got his head and tried to get it back across the goal, but it could only find the arms of Peter Cherry. And a uh, chance for Dundalk to launch another attack here. Goes long. Drops into midfield. It's Chris Turner who gets it back to Conor McCormick. Conor McCormick takes a little touch, comes back inside to Sivez, who gets it out here to Conor McCormick. As the Dundalk rear guard comes scampering across here to the left. It's Billy Dennehy back to Conor McCormick. And it's now Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill to Sivas, who can find Conor McCormick. It's better by Rovers. Conor McCormick to Gary McCabe. Gary McCabe comes inside. And he looks to play a ball to uh, McCormick. But it's uh, a good foot in there. But it's uh, McCormick keeping the pressure on. And as the clearance came off him, and it's out for the Dundalk throw in. But right down near the, the corner flag there on the east side. A little better there by Rovers. Nothing's really been created, but it's the first time they've probably got the ball into the uh, into the forwards. As the ball played forward comes to Craig Sivez and he knocks it back to Ken O'Man, who has Connor McCormick outside. Connor looks as if he's going to play it long, takes a touch instead, finds Gary McCabe, finds Chris Turner. And uh, a, b a bit of luck there, but uh, a bit of luck there. It looked like it was going to fall for Ron and Finn. And as he tried to get onto it, uh, Dan Cunningham got a foot in to clear. And his clearance came off for Ronan Finn. And it's gone out for uh, Dundalk uh, goal kick. So, Cherry's goal kick. Goes out towards right there. It's won by uh, Sivez. Drops into Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn looks to play the fall forward. Uh, it's going out for a Rovers throw in. Conor McCormick to take it. Looking for a bit of movement. There's nothing really on. Gary O'Neill is the only option there. Gary O'Neill looks to chest it back to him. It was a very awkward height for Gary O'Neill to do anything with it. And uh, his chest. Goes out for a Dundalk throw in right on the halfway line here. It's a good ball into uh, Rafter who looks to turn. Rafter looks to switch the play to Paul Walsh, but it's completely overhit and it's gone out for a Rovers throw. So Peters get sorry, uh, Yancey gets the ball out here to uh, Connor Pell into Turner and back to Oman who plays an awkward ball to Sivas. Sivas first touch is great and he's a bit of space here now. Might look to go back inside, but I think uh, Rafter had read that and closed down the space. Goes to Connor McCormick instead. McCormick goes back to Sivas. Sivas plays the crossfield ball here to Connor Pell, who's closed down, but his first touch is good and finds Billy, and Billy plays a 
back to Cal Connor Powell. Connor Powell looks to play it back inside, but he overhits the pass. And uh, it's picked up easily by uh, Shields. But the ball played forward. Comes around Finn. Finn turns. And he's done well around and Finn to get away there. Finds Chris Turner under pressure. Turner easily away from uh, from Rafter. Finds Connor Powell. And back in here to Chris Turner, who's got a bit of space. And he can play that crossfield ball, but he's under hit it and it's easily cut out by uh, McDonald. And McDonald can come away here now. And Dundalk have numbers. He plays it into the feet of uh, Rafter. The ball popped up. It looked like it came off uh, Saver's hand. But he's got it out here to uh, Walsh. Walsh can get a ball in. It's. Misses everyone. Chris Turner can take a touch. Finds Kelly Man. A man finds Billy Denny, who finds Ronan Finn. Finn turns into trouble, but manages to get it out here to Gary O'Neill. He's uh, Gary McCabe outside him. Uh, Gary O'Neill elects to take it on himself. And uh, looks to play a ball in. Finds Gary Twig. Gary Twig's first touch is excellent. Knocks it back here to Ronan Finn. Finn to Turner. It's all very congested, but Rovers need to find a bit of space. And a great touch by Gary O'Neill finds Billy Denny. Denny on his left. Oh, and just down at uh, Peter Cherry's uh, left-hand post. Cherry was down. He had it covered. I don't think it was never going in, but that's the first time Rovers have really, as I said, opened up. It was uh, played into Billy. Billy cut inside, hit it on his left, but uh, it was always covered all the way by Cherry. And um, he was able to watch it go by his uh, post there. So it's going to be Cherry with the goal kick here. Straight down the middle. Won by Ken O'Man. A great header. Drops in midfield. And that's a poor tackle by Ken. And it looks like uh, he kind of came off the worst than that himself. It was an awkward rather than cynical. And uh, I think he got a, a knock in the head there off uh, Stephen McDonald. And uh, it's the second time uh, Ken's been a little bit So it's just going to be a free kick here to Dundalk to be taken by Derek Foran. And it's switch wide. And uh, it's a chance for uh, Cunningham to, ha to have a go with McCabe. And he's beaten McCabe and he's managed to get a ball in. And it was a late tackle by McCabe on uh, Cunningham. And it's been given as a free in to Dundalk. It was a good ball, even despite the despite the, the, the late tackle, it was a good ball in. And I think it was actually the Dundalk player got to it first and knocked it wide, but the referee has uh, played the advantage and pulled it back here. And so it's going to be a free into Dundalk to be taken by Michael Rafter. And it's slightly, and that's a good ball in, but Janssen elects to fist it, didn't get a call, obviously. He could have came and taken that, but uh, fits it instead, and it goes out for uh, a Dundalk throw in here on the far side. It's um, Ben McLaughlin who's going to come and take it. It'll come back here to McLaughlin, who's taking a good touch, but a, a foot in there comes to Chris Turner. But Chris Turner looks to play a pass, McLaughlin cuts it out, and... Uh, it was played into the feet of Gary Shanahan there, but it was uh, Ken O'Man who was cross, got a foot in. And it will be another Dundalk corner here. And once again, it's going to be uh, Dan Cunningham across like this. Uh, give you a couple of other scores before this comes in. Still one all between Sligo and Derry. It's hit reloaded at the wrong time. Cork, 1-0. Nil all draw the paths. Balls one up by UCD. As the ball comes in, and that's a good header to get it cleared out by Chris Turner. It's played back in. A bit of pinball. A good header by Gary McCabe. Gary O'Neill gets another foot into it, and uh, McCabe gets a foot into to knock it wide. But it's only going to find uh, Stephen McDonald on the far side. It was a bit of time to take a touch and knock it forward. But it's a bad touch. It's well won by Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn has a... Uh, and the ball takes a little bobble as it came to Powell, and he had to control it, but he's found Billy Denny, and this is Billy's first chance maybe to take on the uh, the fullback, and he plays a ball over the top for Connor Powell. It's a great ball, and Connor Powell's first touch is great, and there was a foot in there by uh, by Chris Shields, but it went right across the Dundalk goal, but it's come out here to Billy and it to Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn is closed down, switches it beautifully to Connor McCormick, 
Connor plays it to the feet of Gary McCabe. McCabe back to McCormick. McCormick has Finn, who's dropped into a central position. Surrounded now by three Dundalk players. Goes back to McCormick. Out to Gary McCabe. McCabe cuts inside. Plays into the feet of Gary Twig, but um, it's four and he can get a foot in. It comes back to McC McCabe. McCabe's muscle out of it, but it drops in midfield here. And uh, Ken O'Man could come in that. It comes off the Dundalk player, and it's out for a Rovers throw in on this side. So all of a sudden, there's a little bit more intensity in the Rovers performance here. Powell looks to find uh, Turner, but it's a poor ball, and uh, he put Turner under pressure, and he gave it away, but it's once again covered at the back, but a poor ball finds uh, Billy, who plays the ball over the top for Gary Twig. The ball hopped up for him, but he's fine, Gary McCabe, and the chance for Gary McCabe to have a run now. Plays the ball down the line for uh, Denny. Then he goes back to McCormick. Chance for McCormick made to put the ball in, but McCormick drops the shoulder. And it's a decent ball in, but it's well cut out by uh, McDonald. Drops in, and but it'll come back to McCormick, who's got another chance now to get a ball in. And it takes a deflection off uh, Dan Cunningham. And it's going to be a corner to Roberts. Roberts' first corner of the game. And uh, maybe Roberts' first little period of sustained pressure here. It's Billy Denny who's going across to take the corner. Kennel man and... Uh, Kennelman and Craig Sivez push up. Connor McCormick and uh, Connor Powell left back with um, Shanahan. And a bit of pinball as the ball comes in, but it's, it's cleared. It's won by Connor Powell, and it'll come to Gary McCabe, who plays a beautiful first ball. For, I looked to find Billy Denny, but the angle just wasn't right. And is uh, McDonald looks to get the ball forward. It comes off Gary McCabe, and it's out for the Dundalk to draw in. About halfway inside their own half. As Cork City go 2 0 up now against uh, Monaghan. It was uh, Daryl Horgan with the first one and uh, Davin O'Neill with the second. As the ball comes in to Ronan Finn, who turns, finds uh, Billy Denny, he was found in defensive position, finds Gary O'Neill. His ball back to Billy is poor, and Chris Shields come up it up and win it. And a uh, chance now for Dundalk to break. They've numbers here. But the ball forward is poor, and uh, Conor McCormick can just knock it back here to Oscar Janssen. He was a lot, he was slipped. There's a lot of time to take a touch, and finds Craig Sivez. Craig Sivez comes out here to Conor Pell. Conor looks to go long, but takes drop the shoulder and comes to Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn, beautiful angle ball out to Gary McCabe whose first touch is excellent. Needs McCormick to get outside, but he comes inside and said, and he plays a beautiful ball. And a chance for Conor McCormick. Oh, and a great ball. And Gary O'Neill. Oh, and a great save, Billy. Oh, what an absolutely brilliant save. Two absolutely brilliant saves by Peter Cherry. First to deny Gary O'Neill's header. And then an absolutely brilliant save to get down to Billy Denny's follow-up. But we're back on here now with McCormick. Back into uh, to, uh, Ken O'Man here, who comes across to Conor Pound. Much better by Roberts. Brilliant ball. Beautiful angle ball by Gary McCabe, but a great ball in by Conor McCormick. As Billy comes to look away down, to get away down the left here. Brings it into his right and finds Ronan Finn. His first touch is good. Finds Gary Twig. Gary Twig back to Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn steps inside. It's all very tight here as Gary Twig looks to get the ball out to uh, Billy Denny. But it's a poor ball and it's cut out by, um, by Paul Walsh. Paul Walsh looks for the long ball forward. Chested by Craig Sivest, the kennel man. And Ken O'Man can just drop his shoulder, get the ball away from Gary Shanahan and find Conor Powell. Conor Powell into Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn in the centre circle, surrounded by three Dundalk players. Finds Conor, sorry, sorry, points Conor Powell, who was forced back to uh, O'Man, who finds Craig Sivez. Craig Sivez to uh, Chris Turner. Turner, once again, under pressure, has to come back to uh, Sivez, who knocks a little ball here for uh, Ken O'Man and finds Conor Powell. Billy comes inside, but he's got three players around him. What a great ball into Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill has a little touch to Gary Twig, but uh, Burns had read that, and he managed to get his body between himself. Between, uh, sorry, between the ball and Gary Twig. And Cherry's able to clear, but his clearance will only find uh, Ken O'Man. So really good pressure here by Rovers. And it's uh, Craig Sivez looking to bring the ball forward here. Finds Conor McCormick. Sivez stays in a forward position as McCormick's forced back to uh, Ken O'Man who has his two midfielders there looking for the ball. He's going to look for the angled one to Billy. But that's over hit. It's still in play, but his head he can only find Cherry. It was uh, probably the wrong idea. It was by uh, Sivas there. Both Turner and Finn had both dropped looking for the short ball. And it probably would have been the probably easier and the better option uh, at that point. But he looked for the angled ball to Billy. Billy managed to keep it in, but 
could only knock his header back to Peter Cherry, who clears long. It's uh, a header won by Conor McCormick, but it goes back to Oscar Janssen. Oscar can get it out here to um, to Kenoman. Kenoman's under pressure straight away. It's not the greatest ball to Conor Powell, and his first touch isn't great either, but he can get it back here to Ken and can go out to Craig Sives. Craig looking for a bit of movement in front of him. Goes short to Conor McCormick instead. And Conor McCormick comes to uh, Ken O'Man. Ball gets st stuck under his feet, but goes short to Craig Sives. He has Chris Turner there, and uh, Billy drops. And it's a good ball into Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill, that's a good tackle by Foran. And uh, chance now for Dundalk to break with uh, Rafter. Finds Chris Shields. Chris Shields, short of options there as they keep running offside, but it's a decent ball for Walsh. Walsh's touch is good, but uh, Connor Powell clears up, finds uh, Billy. Billy into Chris Turner. Chris out here to uh, Powell. It's a poor ball, uh, but a little nuts by uh, Connor Powell. Finds Gary O'Neill. And Gary McCabe is outside him. But he's, oh, he looked to put through. He looked, he had Gary McCabe outside him. He looked to feed Gary Twig instead. Gary had stepped offside. Uh, the touch went, like, it was cleared anyway. Went out for uh, a Rowers. It was already went out of uh, the play, but it's been pulled back for uh, uh, a Dundalk free out for offside. But Gary McCabe, if he did, managed to take the ball out onto his right, Gary McCabe was in an acre of space. Went for the ball to Twig instead, and Twig had just straight offside. So it's going to be uh, Peter Cherry with the goal kick here. Looking for the angle ball towards Walsh. Completely overhits it, and it goes out for uh, a Rovers goal kick. Some uh, neat footwork by the cameraman there to get it back to Oscar Janssen. Connor Powell going to drop short, but Oscar Janssen has signaled for it to go long. He goes to Os he goes to Connor Powell instead. Connor has uh, Ken O'Man inside him. Ken, oh, that's a poor touch by Ken O'Man, but uh, he managed to nick it away from uh, Gary Shanahan and find Craig Sives. Craig Sives looking for a movement in front of him. Might have to go long. Goes to Connor McCormick instead. Connor can bring it back in here to uh, Ken O'Man, who's uh, come out here to Connor Pell. Connor Pell to Chris Turner. Uh, Pell's pushed right on now, so. And uh, Turner finds him. Good ball inside to Billy. Billy's first touch is poor and it's easily cut out by um, by Walsh. And a uh, good closing down by Billy, but it'll come here to Walsh again. And Billy's gone back and won that odds. Good work by Billy then. He he managed to get his tackle in, but just couldn't keep the ball in play. And it's going to be a throw in to be taken here by Ben McLaughlin. Goes back to Liam Burns. Liam Burns' first touch is poor. And uh, it'll only go out for a uh, Rovers throw in here. Halfway inside the Dundalk half. Stephen Kenny looking to get the ball back here to uh, Connor Powell quickly. Connor looking for a movement in front of him. But it's Gary O'Neill, who is forever the willing option, and he's done well to turn away. Finds Gary Twig's feet, and if Gary can switch that, he's got Connor McCormick on the outside. And a decent ball, and a Gary Twig's in there! Oh, what? I'm not quite sure what Gary Twig was trying to do there. It was a beautiful ball in there by Connor. It looked like he was trying to lay it off to Gary O'Neill. But it, maybe... <laughs> He could have just side-footed it in, but in the end, it's come off a Dundalk player, and it's gone out for the Rovers' corner, but it was really good good play there, good ball, good work by Gary O'Neill off the throw-in to find that bit of space, find Gary Twig's feet. Gary Twig knocked it out to Conor McCormick. McCormick took it, knocked it back in. Well, it looked like maybe just Gary could have just side-footed it back in. He, I think he tried to pass the ball instead and not realising how much space he had, but it, it ended up coming off a Dundalk player for this corner, which is coming in now by Billy, and a great ball in, and it's uh, Ronan Finn gets underneath it. And it goes over the bar for uh, Dundalk, uh, throw in, sorry, goal kick. So much better by Rovers. A very lethargic start. Uh, there was no real pattern to the play. Kind of Dundalk maybe started to get a little, the little the better of it. They got a couple of uh, set pieces. But ever since then, Rovers have really, really got on top. Without really free yet. And there was a Billy shot, obviously, that kind of just went wide of the post. But... Starting to get on top here as Jerry's goal, Jerry's goal kick comes down. It's won easily by Ken O'Man. Flicked on by Gary O'Neill. That was a great idea, but Liam Burns had read it. And this, well done by Ken O'Man again. And Ronan Finn's touch finds Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill with a little touch for Gary McCormick. McCor sorry, McCabe. McCabe to McCormick now. Back into McCabe. McCabe under pressure. And it's a good foot in there by McDonald. He's having a really good game in that midfield for Dundalk. He's working really hard. 
uh, comes back to uh, Sivez. Sivez to McCabe. McCabe with a little touch under pressure does well to come away and needs to do the simple thing now and does it and finds Chris Turner. Chris Turner has Powell outside him. Finds Billy who's come central. Finds uh, Ronald Finn. Ronald Finn looked to play the ball wide but finds uh, Turner instead. And a chance now to play the switch ball but Powell to Billy. Billy back to Chris Turner and now's the chance to switch but it comes to Billy instead. Billy, oh, would it look for the angle ball for Connor Powell? Asking questions of McLaughlin and McLaughlin Oh, he looks, the ball came off Connor Powell and now it was a good ball there. It was screaming out for the for to be switched, but each time they, instead of playing the long ball, they dropped the shoulder and kept it here on the left-hand side. In the end, it was a good ball over the top, forcing McLaughlin to, to pack, backpedal and, and deal with it, but as he cleared it, it came off Connor Powell and it'll go out for uh, a Dundalk goal kick here, to be thinking about Peter Cherry. Cherry's Goal kick goes on. Uh, Sivez got underneath it and it'll go out for a Dundalk throw in there on the far side. Ball comes inside. It uh, takes a deflection. It's flicked on there by uh, Rafter but cleared long down towards Gary O'Neill. Shields gets underneath it and find its header finds Billy Denny. Billy Denny. What a good ball to Gary McKay. But Gary McKay for a run, but his touch is poor. But it'll find Ronald Finn. Ronald Finn has Conor McCormick outside him. McCormick's touch forces him back inside, but finds Gary McKay, who turns back into trouble. And is uh, just to be fell there by the referee, and that's going to be a free into Rovers. Probably made the wrong decision there, Gary McKay, to come back inside, because uh, McKay had uh, come in, like, had gone on the overlap on the far side. He liked to come in, but uh, there was a foot came in from a Dundalk defender. Just to be a free kick, and... Uh, we have Gary McCabe and Billy Dennehy standing over this. Uh, Dundalk have everyone back. Uh, of course, Oman and Sibes have gone forward. So it looks like it is going to be Billy to hit, or it is going to be Gary McCabe to hit this. And it's completely over here. But Sibes has won that. Yes, and there it is! 1-0 Rovers, Chris Turner! It looks like Gary McCabe had overhit that. Kettle man rose at the back post, knocked the back across. And there was Chrissy Turner to flick it in with his head at Cherry's near post. Shamrock Rovers won, Dundalk nil. So that's, I really think that, that as I said, Rovers, with a bit of a lacklustre start, they have started again on, on top. And I think that is a goal that they, they actually deserve. We actually deserve Rovers and... Cold. It's actually really cold here. I can't. I, can't. I walked 10k and I, I thought I'd be warm all night, but there you go. I'm still freezing. And we're back on here as the ball's played out here to uh, McLaughlin, who's under pressure and um, by Billy. And it was, a, it was a poor ball play to him in the first place, and it can only go for Robert Strowing. Think about Connor Powell to Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn turns beautifully, finds Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill gets it out here to Connor McCormick, and Roberts have a man over here. McCormick plays a beautiful ball. And Gary Twig! Oh, it's just too high for... I was just... It was an absolutely beautiful ball in. And I think... I was just waiting to see the, the, the net rustle there. But Gary just under... He basically kind of jumped too early. And it went over his head. He mistimed the, uh, the jump. So it's a throw into Dundalk on this side. It's flicked on by um, Walsh. But it's easy won by Ken O'Man who finds... Ronan Finn, who hits one. Oh, and a beautiful first-time shot by Ronan Finn. Cannons off, Peter Cherry's post. Goes back across the goal, and now for a goal kick on the far side. That would have been goal of the season straight away there by Ronan Finn. Absolute opportunity. Ball broke to him, hit it first time. Looked like it was just going to sneak in there at the near post. Came off it and right across, but so close to 2-0 there. As the goal kick is once again won easily by Sivas, flicked on by Gary O'Neill to Rowland Finn, who's having a really good game here. Uh, O'Neill and Dun McCabe getting each other's way, but McCabe's come away with this great work by Gary McCabe. Oh, and he's found Rowland Finn and a beautiful ball by Gary Twig! 2 0 Shamrock Rovers! Gary Twig! Brilliant work between McCabe and Finn! And Gary Twig chests it in at the far post! 2 0 Shamrock Rovers!
And that is the, this is exactly the response that we would have been looking for to, la to last week's result. A dominant Rovers go 2 0 up. But this. And we're back on here. Chris Turner looks to get a foot in. Finds out uh, the ball by Powell to Finn is poor and he finds Chris Shields. Chris Shields plays a poor ball to McLaughlin. And he's back around and he's left that shot for Cherry. And Gary O'Neill was so nearly onto that, but Cherry read it and he was out to get his foot on it. And it's out for uh, Rovers throwing here. So Rovers looking to keep the pressure on here. And it's going to be Conor Powell to take the throw in. Looking for a bit of movement, flicked on by Billy, but it's poor, it's cleared easily by Liam Burns. Played forward. Uh, wow, well done by uh, Craig Sivez. Ken O'Man had left his, he looked to chest the ball down, left a little short. It's Conor McCormick here now, into oh, it's another poor ball. Only finds Steve McDonald. A chance for Dundalk to break here now. Oh, and that's a good ball to the middle. Oh, but well read by Ken O'Man. And all of a sudden, uh, but a really good foot in there by Chris Shields. All of a sudden, looked at the ball was played through. Uh, Ken O'Man managed to get back and get a funny. Gary McCabe looked like he was going to get away, but a really important foot in by Chris Shields. Broke that down. It goes out for a throw in, but we're back on here. And the ball being worked across by Chris Turner to Connor Pell, who finds Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill back in here to Connor Pell. Connor Pell to Billy Dennehy. Billy into the feet of Gary O'Neill, who's on the tour and plays the fin. Fin to Connor Pell. Pell back to Finn. Finn to Capella. Rover starting to really get the ball around, knock the ball around nicely. Comes back to a man who finds Sivez. Chris Turner is the short option. And it's Conor McCormick on the overlap. And a great ball by Chris Turner. McCormick switches. Uh, it looked like it was going to be a corner, but um, I think it was Dan Cunningham got a foot in. But the last ball, last touch came off uh, Conor McCormick. It's going to be a uh, kick out to Dundalk. But Rovers, I think last week's performance was was poor, and I don't think we could have asked for anything better than what's been produced so far tonight. Obviously, it's still early in the game, and the game needs to be finished off. But but Rovers look like they really have it. They want they want to make a statement tonight based on last week's result. As Conor McCormick looks for a movement for this throw in, finds Ronan Finn who's dropped deep. Who goes short to Sivez? Who has Ken O'Man outside him? Ken O'Man has Connor Powell here, gets across. Connor has a bit of space in front of him, takes a touch, starts to move forward. He's closed down now, finds Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill's fell, but he does well to get a touch here to Finn and Billy. Billy to Connor. Connor gets it back here to uh, Ken O'Man. Ken O'Man, with a bit of space to move forward, finds Connor McCormick. McCormick goes back here to Sivez. Sivez back here to O'Man. And Oman to Ronan Finn, Ronan Finn to Sivez. So Robert's looking to just keep a little possession here. It's Chris Turner here now, has Ronan Finn inside him. Ronan has a bit of time to turn, and he can play that. Oh, he looks to get the ball out to uh, Connor Pell, but it's well cut out. Chris Turner can knock it back to uh, Ken Oman. Oman to Sivez, and that's a good ball by, uh, by Oman to Sivez. And he looks for the feet. Uh, Gary Twig. Gary Twig misses it, but Gary O'Neill's in behind. But Liam Bournes had read that, and he's in to clear it out for a Rovers throw in. Good touch by uh, Hooper Man to get it to Conor McCormick. McCormick to Finn. Finn into the feet of Gary McCabe. McCabe turns away under pressure from two Dundalk players. Slips, but managed to hold on. The great work by Gary McCabe. And a great ball in. Well cut, but out by Foran. And uh, added to by Shields, but his clearance only finds uh, Sivez. Sivez with a touch to Turner. Turner plays it into Chris uh, to Finn. Finn dropping the shoulder. Gary O'Neill lets it out of his feet. And it takes a deflection. Yeah, Gary Twig with the overhead kick. But that'll be easily collected by uh, by Peter Cherry. Really good work there by Ronan Finn. Uh, Gary O'Neill looked to get it out of his feet. He got a shot away. It was blocked down. It popped up in the air. And uh, Gary Twig looked to hit the overhead, but really couldn't get any contact on it. And uh, it fell into the arms of Charlie. Charlie's uh, goal kick there has just gone straight out of play for a Rovers throw in. Uh, Paul Walsh applauded the idea, but he was never going to get to that. So it's going to be Connor Connor Powell to take this throw in here. Down the line, Gary O'Neill loses out there to uh, to Walsh, knocked forward once again. But that's going to go out for it. 
Was always throw in. Well watched by Connor Powell. Goes to Chris Turner. Turner now under pressure from Shields. Out a great ball to find uh, Craig Sivez. Sivez out here to McCormick. McCormick to uh, McCabe. McCabe. Oh, brilliant ball for uh, McCormick. He's running. Oh, but really well covered there as well. It looked like McCormick was just away there, but um, I think it was Dan Cunningham who managed to get back in and get a foot in. But his clearance only goes to Janssen, and Janssen can find uh, Kenelman. Kenelman out here to Sivez. Sivez to McCormick again. Into Ronan Finn, who's having a really excellent game here. And his ball over the top, looking for Billy, who's nipped inside. Billy gets ahead on it. Uh, it was never going to go to Peter Cherry, so... Uh, Liam Burns deals with it. His ball finds Sivez. Sivez to, to Turner, to Finn, back to Turner. And now to Pell, to Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill cuts inside and finds uh, Chris Turner. Chris Turner can turn here. Plays a beautiful ball inside to Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn, oh, there was, it was a beautiful, lovely work by Roberts, but never really kind of got behind it. I think he was trying to bend it into that far post, but ended up just rolling it into the arms of uh, Peter Cherry in the Dundalk goal, but... Rower's starting to turn the screw here, playing some really, really good football. As the clearance finds Sivas. Uh, well won by Gary O'Neill to find Billy. The ball pops up to Billy, but just well. I think he thought that Gary was gonna Gary was gonna make the run there, but he hadn't. The ball over the top is uh cleared out by uh, McDonald. Sorry, by Cunningham and it's uh a, a Rower's throw in here with Gary Mc, Gary sorry, with Connor McCormick. Finds Gary McCabe. Back to McCormick. McCormick to Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn looks to play the ball inside. Well, lovely play. He's forced inside here now. It's Chris Turner. Chris Turner has Connor Powell outside him if he needs him. He plays behind Connor, but it finds Billy Then he Good ball in by Billy to Gary O'Neill to Connor Powell. Connor Powell. Oh, that's. And it's Gary Twig back to. Oh, what a great save. Oh, no, how did Billy miss that? Brilliant play by Rovers. Worked so well. Gary O'Neill got a shot away. An absolutely brilliant save by Peter Cherry. Uh, Billy Denny he was following. It looked like he just needed to tap it in. But he somehow managed to play it back across the goal and wide. But more really good play by Roberts. I know kind of it should have been 3-0 and Billy should have tapped that away. But you have to applaud the football that led to that chance. As Dundalk come away here now. But it's uh, Connor Powell who managed to get a foot in. But his uh, ball forward only finds Liam Burns. Comes out here to... Uh, to McLaughlin, it's forced long. Uh, Connor Powell finds Chris Turner. Uh, the ball forward finds uh, Gary O'Neill, who finds Billy Denny. And Billy's away here now from Shields. And Billy cuts inside. And that ball came off Chris Shields, and that's going to be a corner to Shamrock Rovers. More good work there by Gary O'Neill. And uh, laid the ball off there for Billy, who soared and run. But it was uh, Chris Shields tracking back, who managed to get a little touch on that and just knock it out for a corner to Rovers. It's going to be Gary McCabe to come across from the far side of the It's just in front of us here. In the, in the West stand, So it's going to be uh, Gary McCabe to hit this. Oh, a great ball in. And Charlie's missed that and it's well cleared but it's only popped up. And it's Chris Shields can add on to that and get it clear. But it'll only find Conor McCormick on the halfway line. Conor's touch is poor but he managed to get it back here to Conor Pell who has to backtrack. And if he can angle that ball, and he's managed to do that. Chris Turner's out there. Well won by Chris Turner. But his header only finds uh, Cunningham. Uh, Cunningham is fouled by Gary Twig as he looks to clear it. And that's going to be a free out to Dundalk. <laughs> so uh, the throw in taken there. Chris Shields messing around in midfield. Loses out to, uh, to Ron and Finn. Ron Finn plays it to Billy. He pops up. Uh, he looks to play the ball forward, it takes a deflection and it's going to draw wide here. Gary McCabe's going to look to close this down, but a good turn inside by uh, McLaughlin. Finds um, Rafter in a forward position, but he's dispossessed. And it's Finn, oh, looking for the run at Gary Twig, but it's over here and it'll go back to Peter Cherry. Uh, Charity's goal kick. It's won there by. Uh, <laughs> it's won there by Paul Walsh. It's not going to go out of play, and Ken O'Man has to deal with that, and he's done well. He just knocks it off. Um,
Gary Shanahan and that's out for a Rovers throw in. It's right down in at the corner flag and it's uh, going to be Connor Pell to take it. Knocked forward, well won by Gary O'Neill to find Chris Turner and a foot in and cr uh, Chris managed to get away here but his touch is poor but uh, it was uh, four and across and his clearance popped up back off Turner and as he's played forward it just finds um, Ronan Finn, Ronan Finn finds Conor McCormick He's had a really good game in that right full position. Uh, Finn had pushed on, but it was McCabe who held on to the ball too long. And he was offside. A great touch by Gary Twig. And Ronald Finn's inside. And a beautiful ball inside for Conor McCormick. Sorry, McCabe. Oh, and he looks up. And it's Billy. Must be. Oh, and it's well. More good work by Rovers. It was Really good last ditch defending at the end to block Billy off, but it's only going to work for a corner here. So it's uh, once again Gary McCabe across to take this from the far side. And a good ball in. It's flicked on by Turner. It'll drop to the edge of the box, but it's cleared. And uh, it's a long one that Connor Pell has to deal with. Uh, he gets it back to Oscar Janssen. He's got Connor McCormick outside, and well done by Oscar to find Connor straight away. And uh, but Dundalk will push right. It's two against two here. This ball has to be right. I thought that was a foul on Gary McCabe, but uh, referee waves play on. It drops into the midfield to uh, McDonald. McDonald finds Chris Shields. I'm sorry, it was, no, it was uh, Rafter actually, but a uh, good foot in there by Ronan Finn. Knocks it out for a throw in, which uh, Cunningham will take. Played forward, well won by Craig Sives. Drops to Gary O'Neill in midfield. His little touch finds uh, Chris Turner, who finds Billy. Billy gets it out of his feet and finds Connor Pell, who's able to move forward. That was a poor tackle, I thought, by uh, Shields, but referee didn't say it that way. Waves play on. It's going to be a minute of time added on. As the ball played forward, finds Ken O'Man. Ken O'Man just drags it back here. And finds Connor Pell. Connor Pell, it's time to turn and take a toucher. Finds Billy. Oh, beautiful ball around by Billy. He was pulled back there. It was uh, unfortunate there by uh, Ben McLaughlin because it was a really good touch by Billy. But I thought one of his uh, centre halves was going to come across and uh, and mop that up. But he elected to pull Billy back, and instead it's going to go for uh, a Rovers free in here. Uh, Chris Turner takes it short to Connor Pell. Once again, there's a chance for Rovers to switch the play here. They've men over on that side. And that's a good ball by Ken O'Man to find Conor McCormick. Conor McCormick finds uh, Ronan Finn. Ronan Finn, beautiful touch, comes inside. Once again, finds Gary McCabe outside, but it's over hit. And it's out for a Dundalk throw in. And I think this might be the last uh, action we see this first half. What started off as a very kind of uh, lethargic first half with no real, uh, no real pattern to play, no real chances. Dundalk maybe had... I won't say the better of it. They had a couple of set, like free corners and set pieces, but as the referee blows his whistle for half time, it was a uh, 2-0 Shamrock Rovers. A uh, really good goal. Uh, two good goals to get us back on top. Right. So I'm bursting for a piss. So I'll see you for the next half. Bye bye.
Right, so sorry uh, for the uh, break there in half time commentary. It's fucking bloody freezing here, so I went down for a couple of uh, mugs of soup. No Bovril. You'd think at Milltown 25 there would have been kind of, you know, anniversary Bovril or something available, but uh, no such luck. Was waiting for the Sligo and Gary. Uh, Sligo and Derry game to end even. Still one all down there at the moment. Uh, welcome to the halftime entertainment as well. I've no idea who to share there. Um, but it, uh, <laughs> I thought we were doing some kind of Milltown 25 thing, but uh, no, we've uh, we've a bower on a banjo, a couple of lads, uh, a very small hooper man, and I don't know what this song's about. So enough of that. Let's watch the uh, under nines, possibly. There we go, we'll watch some football. Can you miming? Are you suggesting that they're doing a milli, milli, a milli vanilli down there? Yeah, well. Which soup was I drinking? Oh well, not bad. 